guys, I am Megan, also known as MegzyTheOG. Thanks for tuning in today. If you would like to see this completed makeup look, then keep watching. Today's video is going to be Instagram followers choose my makeup. So what I did is I posted two products from different categories and asked you guys to choose which one I should use. Before I get into that, I just wanted to tell you guys that I used the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. It really just helps whenever you're applying glam makeup. I haven't checked the polls yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see what won. The first category that I posted was foundation. The two products that my Instagram followers got to choose from was Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Foundation and the other product that they got to choose from was NYX Mineral Stick Foundation. I wear both of these on a regular basis so if you follow me you know it's a pretty even toss up between which one I like. Let me go ahead and figure out where that poll is on my Instagram story. Alright so the winner is... NYX Stick Foundation with 65%. Alright, so I've got my trusty, janky mirror in between my legs, because that's just how I do this. I've got my Mineral Stick Foundation. This is in the shade MSF01, which is fair, because I am a pale bitch. I'm going to apply it all over my face. And then I'm going to take my big buki brush, I think that's what this is called, and I'm going to blend it all into my skin. About these two foundations, this one is definitely way more long wear and performance. This is going to last all day. It's going to take a lot to get this off. This one, however, is more lightweight. It's more breathable and it's more of like a natural foundation, if that makes sense. Now that the foundation is blended, we're going to go ahead and pull up polls again on Instagram and we are going to see what Let's see, concealer I'm going to wear. Wait, I posted these out of order, so I'm going to have to skip. No, I'm going to go in order, and we're just going to see where this takes me, because I messed up. That's on me. So we're going to do concealer next. I know I do my makeup weird and out of order from everybody else, but I still come up with decent looks, so... You're still here watching? Ooh, okay. So I have not tried this product yet. I got it in my Ipsy Glam Bag last month. Um, both of these I actually got in Ipsy Glam Bag. So if you want an Ipsy Glam Bag, link is in the bio. Definitely check that out. Ipsy Glam Bags are $10 a month and they are worth it. Um, but anyways, the concealer that I'm going to be wearing today is Tarte Shape Tape. The two options I had were Let's see, Tarte Shape Tape and Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hours. Um, and so, like I said, you can see right here, Tarte 1, Tarte 1 with 59%. I'm gonna go ahead and take this old ass blender and it's pretty damp still. I'm gonna go ahead and beat this in. So far I'm looking pretty ghostly. That's the huge. That's what I go for is very ghostly. Um, so I know what I posted next and I know I did not post brows at all in the poll. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do my brows. Um, I don't have my normal brow products. Don't know where those are. They magically vanished. I'm assuming my cat has like knocked them off the counter. My dog's got them and like chewed them up or something. I don't know, but I know that my usual brow product, my usual brow products are not in the usual spot. So I have this Nyx brow pencil, and I have 
these dip brow shades by Anastasia and these are just like little trial size dip brows um I don't know what I'm gonna do we're gonna work something out but I think I'm gonna do those off camera okay so welcome back my brows are done and they are darker than ever um so I tried to use the NYX like I'll do this this crayon thing and um it was like orange it it was not this brown color let me just tell you that um so then I was like <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try Anastasia today so I tried this and the lightest color they had was this ash brown color and um, as you can see they are all very very dark um, so I have dark brows very white face dark brows today um, so hopefully my bronzer will come through and lighten me up a little bit make it look less like crazy but like these brows are so dark that I I picked some translucent powder up on a spoolie and was like maybe this will lighten them um, but here we are they're also like kind of weird shape because I'm not used to using those products. Um, I'm used to using e.l.f., which is a drugstore brand, but they literally have the best brow product for me. Like, and it's this brow pomade. It's not that far off from the dip brow pomade, except it's like a thicker consistency, and it's just a little easier to work with, I feel, and it matches my brows a little better. No shade, no tea, like, it's just me. It, that's what I like. Um, but anyway, so I went ahead, I did the brows, I, I'm i gonna go with them. And so the next poll that is coming up, I think is bronzer, but let me double check. The next poll is bronzer. I have a Cargo HD bronzer, and then I have Benefit Hula bronzer. And I'm not surprised at all with which one won. I don't know if you could see it, but the Hula one with 73 percent so pretty overwhelming response I'm kind of one of those people don't really know what to do with bronzer I just kind of wing it so go with me I'm gonna pick up a little and start way back here so that's the difference oh it looks really pigmented on camera but I just kind of suck in my cheeks and carve out what is left underneath there put a little bit around my forehead in the usual spots like people say do a three um, so I'm gonna kind of replicate the three motion and trust my gut we're gonna go from here um, I did not put a pull out for this but I'm gonna go ahead and use blush I'm gonna go ahead and use the balms um, balm springs longwear blush this is in the shade in full swing um, I got this one also from ipsy this time I'm just gonna apply it kind of on the tops of my cheeks to add a little bit of color. It's not 100% where I'd hoped it would be, but it's all right. It's so, next poll. I don't remember what this was. Okay, we're gonna have to skip this, um, but we're gonna keep it in mind. It was, what mascara should I use? And everybody's fan favorite for like the past few months has been Milk, um, and that's the Milk Kush Mascara, this pretty like hefty and big and awesome it gives your lashes tons of volume tons of length I really like it um, it's a little wet keep that in mind whenever you apply it but it's good um, but anyways it was milk Kush mascara or any other mascara that I have like I have other mascaras but I always lean on this one and not not out of the blue, not out of the ordinary. Everybody chose, for the most part, Milk Kush Mascara, and it won with 81%. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. But like I said, we're going to keep that in mind. The next thing, which I have been excited for because, you know, I, I haven't gotten to put this on yet. And that is Translucent Powder. And so the two options were Naked Cosmetics Translucent Powder or Tarte. And this was a really close poll. I think this is the closest one I've had so far. And so it was 
Naked with 53%. So this is a SO Miss Glam brush and this is SG62. I'm just going to take a little bit of translucent setting powder. I'm going to apply it on my nose, on the outer corners. I'm going to apply it under my eyes. I'm going to apply some on my chin, some on my forehead, underneath all that bronzer and then I'm gonna apply some underneath the bronzer and blush area. Okay, so I'm gonna look silly but you're gonna see why I use this stuff here in a second if you don't already know. Let's see what's next in the polls because I have completely forgotten what I put after this. Okay, this is another one we're gonna have to skip but we're gonna come back to and this is winged eyeliner, um, so the option was yes or no. Um, a overwhelming 82% put yes. This is also a close one, which was eyeshadow. I put colorful or darker. Somebody did DM me and they were like, lighter. But, I'm sorry guys, that's for another video. Um, so, 56% voted colorful, which is my favorite. So I have a couple options. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my trusty, oh that's not it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my trusty and most used palette at the moment, the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony palette. And as you can see, it's been pretty loved. I'm gonna go ahead and use the white shade, which is Rarity. I'm gonna kind of apply it to my entire lid and kind of go up almost to my eyebrow. Okay, so I went ahead, I put the Rarity shade almost all the way on my entire lid, all the way up to my brow bone. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit and show you guys the rest. Okay, we're back, we're up close, we are personal. You can really see these freaking dark brows, but that's okay. Uh, everything's looking uh. Okay, but we're gonna liven it up with a colorful eye look. And like I said, I already went in with Rarity all over my eye. We're really whited out right now. I'm gonna start with the inner corner of my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the inner corner of my eye, which is a little different than usual. I have this NYX pressed powder in Butterscotch Caramel. Um, this is in HS62. I'm just gonna pick up some of that yellow pigment. Yes, yes. So I'm applying this shade to the inner corner of my eye and kind of creating a V with it. Just a small V, nothing extreme. So we're going under the waterline and we're going a little bit um, into the crease with this. Now that you've created the V on both of your eyes and you've kind of gone in and taken it under your waterline, you're going to go ahead and grab another shade. I have so many shades in front of me and I don't know what to pick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply NYX Double Dare High Definition Blush in HBD10. This is going to go on my eyes even though it's supposed to be blush and even though it's bright orange. I'm going to take a flat brush, pick up some of this orange pigment, and go to town. So you're just going to want to apply this to about half of your eye. Like, not even half, but close to half of your eye. It's going to start at the corner of your eyeball, or sorry, it's going to start at the beginning of your iris. And you're just going to kind of extend it out. It's kind of got a candy corn vibe going. If that's what you're here for, a candy corn look, you got it. If not, keep watching. So, I got these ColourPop palettes about a year ago. You could customize your own. You picked your own pans and they just like slide in here. They're magnetic. I'll show you an example as it breaks. Okay. I just broke this pan, but you can see it is a little pan and you just slide it in right here and now it's halfway broken. But anyways, we're going to take 
this pink shade, which is called Making Moves. We're gonna take that shade and we're gonna blend it into... So like I was saying before I broke part of this palette, um, we're gonna take Making Moves, which is a ColourPop single pan. We're gonna take the same brush we just used, which is a flat brush. There's some of the pigment. And you're gonna apply it to the one, like another fourth of your eyeball, okay? After the cotton or candy corn look, you're gonna apply it to another fourth. And as you can see so far, I'm not worried about blending yet, but I'm going to worry about blending here in a second. After breaking that palette, that was stressful. So now I'm gonna go back to the My Little Pony Pure Palette. I'm going to get the red shade, which is Temptus Shadow. Same brush. Are we surprised? No. And I'm gonna apply it to the outer corner. Now this probably looks a little messy. You're probably thinking, damn, Megan, you've gotta blend that. We're gonna get to it. I almost dropped a second palette. That would have sucked. I'm going to take my trusty Elizabeth Mott blending brush. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. I'm going to take my trusty Elizabeth Mott blending brush and we're going to blend it out. We're finally there. You're going to blend and kind of pull that red shade further forward so it's not so like harsh lines, you know? Because otherwise it's going to look kind of harsh. Like this eye. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this like weird little brush. We're going to take the Double Dare blush again. And we're just going to apply it to the bottom of my waterline. And you're going to want to connect this to the red. Okay, and I'm going to take my blending brush and just kind of make that soft as well. We're going to see what's next on the poles now that my... My eye look is done for the most part. Okay, so we do have to add winged eyeliner. And we've got to add lashes and mascara. Those are for sure things that we have to add to this look. I'm so excited for lashes. I have this lovely little tool that is a stamp. And if you just want winged eyeliner but you don't want to have to like spend a lot of time on it, get one of these. Um, this is from like a no-name brand. Probably shouldn't use it, but we're going to go ahead and do it. You're going to just stamp it at the outer corner and create the wing look, okay? So that is the stamp. That's the beginning of a wing. So my battery died, but I have the wing stamp on. I'm going to go ahead and apply the liner. Okay, so I've got the wing completed on this eye. You can see major difference. I'm going to finish this eye. Or let me go ahead and curl my lashes and for whatever reason today my Instagram followers hated me and they wanted me to wear some lashes if you've seen my past videos I don't really wear lashes I'm not a pro with lashes if this does not work like the first time they're coming off oh what kind of shit is this I have to find some scissors to cut this too. But if they don't work on the first or second try, we're scrapping that idea. I'm sorry, followers. But cut the camera. I'm going to try to apply these lashes. Y'all don't need to see this fuckery, okay? So I'm going to cut the camera. You're going to see me in a few minutes. See if I have them on. See if I don't. We're, we'll talk about it. So it's only been like forever <laughs> since my last clip of this video. Um, but I finally got these little, like, dollar store wet and wild lashes on because that's all I'm willing to spend on lashes because I know I suck at putting them on. But I did okay, like, applying them today. It definitely makes this look a lot better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Milk Mascara. And this is the Kush Mascara. And I'm going to give my top and bottom lashes a coat. So you want to be really careful when applying mascara to your lashes. Because they do have a tendency, especially if they're cheaper, to come up on the end like this one is right now. But we're just going to ignore that. We're going to act like that's not happening right now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take my lash curler. This is a Revlon lash curler. I've had it forever. I'm gonna go ahead and or I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. So I think that this lash, like whenever I curled it and like replaced it, I think it's looking a little better. Um, they're definitely a little wonky. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I need to wipe off what has been baking in the oven for so long. If I can find my brush. Okay. So far, I think that this look is pretty good, especially since I haven't applied makeup in quite a few days. Like, actually, like, probably a week. More. Um, but, I think it's pretty good. I think we're doing pretty decent so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and what's next? What's next? I'm gonna take this Too Faced lip injection. This is a gloss that I like to apply before I apply any lipstick. That way it kind of gives me more volume without having to get real lip inject uh, real lip injections. Because I don't want that. Like no. So I'm just gonna use this just to make them look a little fuller. I'm going to let this sit for a second, um, let it like actually fill my lips in, and I'm going to let my dogs out and figure out what lipstick and what highlight I'm going to wear. So just stay tuned if you want to keep watching and see where this look finishes or where this look goes. And definitely if you want to see the look on Instagram, check it out because it will be up, at least one post will be up by the time that you see this video. So I have my highlight picked out and I have my lip products picked out. I'm going to go ahead and use the City Color Glow Duo. I'm going to use the powder side. I'm going to pick up my Royal and Lang Nickel Fan Brush. Also going to take a small flat brush and I'm going to take some of this highlighter and apply it under my brow. Now I'm going to take the Ish... Yeah. The Ish Lip Statement Palette, and that stands for I'm Smoking Hot. Literally, like that's the brand name. And it's got some really, really pretty colors in here. These are cream lipsticks. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, this orangey shade, and I'm going to apply it to my cupid's bow and the surrounding area, but I'm not going to go all the way and extend it to the outer corner of my lips. I'm just going to do the cupid's bow in that area. We're doing the middle, the orangey color. Then we're going to go to the outer corner of this palette and we are going to line our lips with bright red. Well, not line our lips, we're going on the outer corners. So you probably can't tell because the colors are so similar. But I did use a orangey shade on the middle and then a more ready shade on the outer corner of my lip. Here it is. Here is the final look. It only took me forever to finish this. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to back it out. Ooh, those are some red loops. Um, okay. So I did this look to kind of match my honey sweatshirt. This is a look that you guys chose, Instagram chose it on Instagram polls, and I'm so glad that I did it because it was a lot of fun and I like, I got to play around, around with a lot of makeup products that I usually don't use, so it was really fun. I got to try some more lashes, which I am not that experienced with, but it was fun, cool, and I learned a lot from it. I learned that you guys are awesome. You picked some great products. I learned a lot about the new products that I did get to try. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing on my channel, then give my video a big thumbs up. Maybe subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, the whole nine yards on YouTube and social media. If you like what you see, check me out on Instagram. The Instagram handle is at MegzyT, the OG. So check that out. And all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Bye.